El Paso, I'm Ricky Saez. Thank you for joining us on Your City in 5. El Paso will be seeing more improvements that are sure to make our city a better place to live. The City Council approved 10 improvement projects. This includes street improvements, bike lanes, senior center upgrades, the El Paso Zoo and the International Bridges. Council members say the improvements will boost city services and our quality of life. City representatives also moved on a major land preservation opportunity. Council members voted to spend $3.5 million to preserve 366 acres of land near Kastner Range in Northeast El Paso. Funding to acquire the land is a combination of money approved by voters in 2012 and Public Service Board dual purpose funds. This is the largest open space land acquisition in the history of El Paso. In other city news, we now know how the Cohen Stadium area will be redeveloped. City leaders along with Northeast Representative Sam Morgan unveiled a master plan to several hundred El Pasoans during a meeting at the Trans Mountain Community College. The plan includes a water park, hotels, restaurants, retail, green areas, athletic spaces and much more. The city is now asking residents for ideas on what kind of restaurants, retail shops and other businesses they would like to see. Anyone with ideas can send them via email to cohen at elpasotexas.gov. Completing the master plan was the first step in the process to identify land uses and redevelopment options for that site. A round of applause goes out to the El Paso Public Library for receiving a $73,000 grant from the Texas State Library System. State Library Director Mark Smith and Assistant State Librarian Gloria Mraz presented the giant check to Mayor Margo and library staff. The grants recognize how well our public library is performing to begin with. It was a coming home of sorts for Assistant State Librarian Gloria Mraz, who's from El Paso. She says it's great to give back to the community that gave her so much. It is the best part of having a wonderful career and having an investment in libraries and learning that I have an opportunity to come back to the city that raised me, uh, that uh, showed me what community spirit and a love of learning is all about. The library is using the grant to fund a variety of programs for children, teens and adults that enrich library programs. Elsewhere, city leaders, along with the chief resilience officer, hosted 100 resilient city representatives from the Rockefeller Foundation to discuss the city's resilience strategy. The strategy's purpose identifies El Paso's social, economic and environmental challenges and opportunities. This allows the creation of long-term solutions that will result in the growth and success of our community. The Resilient Cities is made up of 100 cities worldwide. El Paso was part of the first 10 selected to be part of the program and the only city to incorporate the Resilience Plan in El Paso's strategic plan. The Department of Public Health is celebrating 10 years in existence. Your City in 5 correspondent Armando Saldivar kicked up some dust at their annual open house. Well, it's the 10th anniversary for the Department of Public Health, and this event does have a bit of a southern draw. It's a county fair theme, but this event is much more than just fun and games. Most of the times I come, I come only through the front office. I don't see all the departments here in the back, and I don't know everything they do. Under an umbrella of colorful banners and balloons, those who attended had a chance to play games, win prizes, and learn about everything the department has to offer. We provide cancer screenings, we provide vaccines, we provide health education, we provide 211, Texas 211. So there's a variety of services that we offer that is free to most of the community. While you might imagine that all this information would have a dizzying effect, the truth is that learning is taking place for both those visiting and those sharing this important information. It is surprising a lot of um, kids don't know about um, STDs. Also for the, the hep C and the HIV testing, it could be, you know, just something very quick and then the linkage to care, you know, if somebody does come positive. So that's pretty interesting to find out. The event wrapped up with the Pillars of Public Health Awards presented to the El Paso Fire Department for their collaboration with the Vaccinations for Health program. Sam Trujillo and Berenice Acosta with the County of El Paso for their cooperation with the Preparedness program and HIV researcher Dr. Oralia Loza and the HIV prevention team for their outstanding efforts to public health. A big congratulations to all of this year's winners. Reporting from the Department of Public Health, I'm Armando Saldivar for your City in 5. Thank you, Armando, for that report. And you can catch the Pillars of Public Health Awards presentation as part of the broadcast schedule on City TV.
And speaking of City TV, some important information you need to know if you're watching City TV on Spectrum. The cable TV provider is going all digital by the end of February. The channels will also change. Also, Spectrum says all customers will need to have a digital receiver box on their televisions. To get a box and for additional information on the switch, call Spectrum at 1-800-892-4357. 4357. Again, City TV will be on channel 1300 if you have Spectrum Cable. The change is happening from now until the end of February. And finally, this Valentine's Day, gift seekers will visit pop-up shops on the side of the road to get their gifts. In order to sell goodies like chocolates, flowers, and bears, code compliance officers say vendors must have a permit. To sell those items, a vendor's license as well as a temporary placement permit and permission from a property owner is required. More information on permits can be found on the city's website or by calling 311. Well, that does it for this edition of Your City in 5. Make sure to follow us on social media. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And of course, you can catch us on City TV. Until next time, I'm Ricky Saias for Your City in 5.